I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, guys, I'm so excited for this video So this is our first video week in our life with little Arlo We're doing some skin to skin feeding right now You can see he is a little upset I took him off the booty um, but this is Monday morning, our first like full week being back. So he's officially a week old. He was born last Monday at noon. We're going to the OB today um, to check on my stitches and like excruciating pain, but that's fine because I'm still in newborn bliss, so it doesn't matter. But that's what's on the agenda today. Casey is making coffee while I feed him. And then we're gonna get ready and we're gonna go to the OB and have um, the rest of our Monday. Today is like, he's like, please give me the food, mom. <laughs> Today is like our first Monday where obviously it's not going to be back to normal, but we are going to be like working again. I've like touched a couple work emails and things I like had to for my book the past couple days, but really I've just been soaking in cuddles with him and like not doing anything else. Um, but I'm excited to start editing through the birth vlog clips and just like get back into things. I don't have another brand deal for another week or so, so that's nice that it's still just like getting back into posting and editing. Not as much so like brand deals, which is like the work side of things. Um, but he is just the biggest blessing and gift, Arlo J. Schultes. The birth vlog will have been out by now, so y'all will have seen that. Um, it was so sweet and definitely not quite what I expected, but like still so good. Everything went so smooth. Um, I'm gonna feed this boy and put a little outfit on, but welcome to the first week in our lives as new parents at home with Arlo. He's so perfect and we're so grateful. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Obi went so good, nothing is wrong. I'm just drama and sometimes a little anxious, but I thought I had ripped my stitches because it was just so painful. And I also thought I had hemorrhoids because it's like so painful to sit. So I was like, everything's wrong. Like I, I wasn't like sad, I was still like so happy because I'm obsessed with him and life is amazing. But I was just like, I have a friend who like all her stitches like came out, she had to get them redone. It's just a horror story and I feel so bad for her. So I think that's in my mind, like scared that it's gonna happen. Um, so anyways, they were just the nicest though. And check my stitches. Everything is great. No hemorrhoids. Um, little man slept the entire time. He loves his car seat. He loves the stroller. I just feel so blessed because I feel like we got such an easy baby, which I know like is not dependent on the parents. Like it is so dependent on the baby. Like, yeah, you can do great things as a parent and be a great mom and whatever. But like, honestly, like the way your baby sleeps and feeds and all the things is kind of just up to them. So we're grateful for little Arlo being easy so far. Um, we're about to make a big breakfast and I'm going to feed him and cuddle and edit a bunch of TikToks and stuff on my phone I need to do because I lay on my side to feed him since my stitches hurt too bad to like sit on my butt. So yeah, I'm gonna feed him and edit a bunch of stuff. Sorry, the car is 
screaming at us. Um, I did a bunch of stuff on my phone, do emails, whatever. Like I said, this is my first day, like, really saying, like, I'm working. Like, even though I'm definitely not, like, working all day. Like, I've done, like, two emails today and checked a couple things, but it's already, like, noon, 11. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, it's definitely gonna look different with Ari Boy here, but I'm excited because he sleeps, like, all day. So I know I'll still be able to get so much done, but... I just love every day with him, especially the mornings, because they just cuddle and it's just so fun. So let's make some breakfast and get some work done. Hi, baby. You ready to eat? Oh, you little smoochie. Your cheeks are so scrunchy, baby. I just love him. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well. I will always be by your side. All the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever Okay, it's a little bit later and Mr. Man's just fed again. I've been working on my computer and just getting stuff done around the house and feeding him. Feeding him just takes so long. Um, but look, his eyes are open. Oh, he's just a sweetie. Normally he conks out right after I feed him, but right now he's like very aware and just like chilling. Ari, do you want to say hi? you want to see yourself? Oh, who is that? Is that Ari? But I'm about to um, keep getting some work done and just doing like housework and stuff. Oh, bless you. Bless you. He sneezes so much. I think it's like newborns just do it a lot in general. But I'm like, I've have him, had him outside a lot. So I'm like, is he allergic to the pollen? You know, and I just get nervous. But I mean, I'm allergic to the pollen, so he probably is. But he's fine, obviously. Anyways, he's going to nap. Hopefully his eyes are wide open, so we'll see. And I'm going to keep working on my phone and laptop. I'm in the backyard. We have a little tiny, tiny little backyard of our townhouse. And the sun is, like, hitting it perfectly right now. And the UV is, like, a 6 or a 7, which is amazing. So I'm just working out there, getting some vitamin D while he rests. And then this afternoon, I'm going to clean up the house really good. We have, like, a really good nighttime routine going for him. I'm going to share, like, all the details on that because first-time moms, you know, they don't always sleep. We've had three good nights of sleep, like over six hours every night. So I would say we're, we're getting there. We don't know what we're doing for sure. But the first couple of nights were rough. And now we're like, okay, we have a routine down and it seems to help a lot. Um, I think also my milk supply coming in helped a ton because Prairie's got to have a really good supply. So that's amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to tidy up, keep working the rest of the afternoon. And then tonight, I think I'm going to make a blue apron meal. If you guys are new to my channel, then you don't know and you'll see later. But if you are not new, then you know we have used Blue Apron meal subscriptions since last year. This is not sponsored or anything. We just love them. Um, and they are so sweet because I've worked with them several times. And they sent us, like, boxes for the next, like, two or three weeks. Like, just for postpartum meals. Which is so sweet. We also have, like, people doing meal trains. So, I'm not stressed at all about us getting in our nutrients. Even though my appetite is insane with breastfeeding like literally insane i thought people were like dramatic when they talked about how hungry you are with breastfeeding because with pregnancy i was not that hungry and i was always nauseous food was not that good now it's amazing it tastes amazing and i'm so hungry all the time so i'm excited to make a yummy dinner tonight for us because i haven't really cooked anything good because people have been making us meals which is so nice um but i also like love cooking and i can be on my feet a little bit um with the stitches and stuff i can't be on them too much but I can definitely do so. So I'm excited to cook tonight, clean up the house, and just have our cozy little routine. But for now, I'm gonna keep staring at his eyes until he falls asleep and then get some more work done. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. Like I said earlier, I am 
making bacon and good cheeseburgers. You guys look at this bread. Got buns, bacon, I'm making a little salad. I'm gonna put these in the oven with some like, not french fries but close, and then the burgers. I'm so excited. I was honestly like so excited for Blue Apron Meals postpartum because I still feel good enough to like cook. Um, it's time, which is not, not always great, but it's still so easy that the groceries are already here because I can't, sorry the Netflix show is loud, but I can't like walk too far yet because um, I just like everything gets really tired and my stitches hurt. So like I haven't gone to the grocery store sitting in the car is like I can't do that hardly unless like we're going to the OB or somewhere I really need to go, you know? So um, it's just so nice the groceries are already here and like delivered to our door. So I'm just like crazy. I'm so excited for this because burgers and I've been craving bacon, but burgers sound so good. So let's chef this up and then have our cozy nighttime routine with our Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mud, you clouds up high I can tell the stream is going above two days which is weird because that's normally like a pregnancy symptom because you're stretching but I think for me everything's going back down to its correct place and maybe that's hurting it too also obviously my abs are split so just trying to do normal tasks during the day maybe I'm engaging my muscles whatever I know just everything feels wonky for a while so anyways I'm heating that because it was like so bad last night I could hardly like roll over to feed him and just really painful so today I'm like attacking it with all the rehab things but Casey's upstairs cuddling him I just made a coffee. I even put like whipped cream on top. It kind of like melted so you can't see it. But he did not sleep like at all last night. Like at all, which is okay. He slept like seven hours the night before. Not obviously continuous. I would have to feed him. Um, the nights just kind of feel like a blur. <laughs> night before last didn't really, cause like I said, he slept well. Um, but I just like can never remember if I like actually fell back asleep before he wakes up again his like good sleep sack that he actually sleeps in it's streamlined it's weighted and it like velcros his arms in and it works i swear it's like very expensive but you need one because it works um i'll have it linked in the description if you want to check it out they're like 80 or 90 dollars but worth it um anyways he peed on that so we didn't have that one i should have put it in the dryer and used it after he woke up again but we only had another dreamland one that has like slits for their arms to come out and if his arms are out he's just waking himself up like it's just gonna happen so yeah, he woke himself up like a bajillion times. And then if he's awake, he just wants to feed. So, but then he like falls asleep on my boob and it's sweet because he doesn't actually need to feed. He's just fussy, you know? Anyways, so that was last night. Um, and kind of like all the other nights, it just runs together. But I also like, I think I'm going to love the nights more when I'm not in so much pain. It's just when like my stitches hurt and like everything hurts like rolling over. It's so hard to like really enjoy feeding him, even though I love breastfeeding because it's so painful like that's the hardest part about postpartum like to me like postpartum has not been hard at all it's like bliss it's literally amazing but wake like like wanting to serve your baby like do the best for your baby like you, if you can't sit like i can't sit on my butt really well or if i do it so uncomfortable in weird positions it makes me hurt whatever i like want to be able to feed him in the proper position so he gets the most milk and just stuff like that that's like you just feel like you can't like fully be there like as much for them as you would want to but it also is the only time where you're going to be like locked to the couch resting so it's good because extra cuddles so anyways that's like the hardest part about this part of to me is wanting to not be in pain anymore so i can like be a better mom for him so 
Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go enjoy this coffee and talk to Case because he's gonna head to the gym as soon as he wakes up and makes breakfast. Um, he's really trying to prioritize still getting to the gym and not making like our lack of sleep and parenthood an excuse. Obviously, I can't work out yet, so I'll just stay home with Arlo. I think I'm gonna read my Bible because he sleeps a lot in the morning and get started on morning emails and keep editing on the birth vlog. I laid in the sun yesterday while he kind of just napped, cat napped, like stared at the ceiling really cute and slash napped. Yesterday, um, I started working on the birth vlog and it was like so fun to edit through the clips. That will already be up by the time this one is up, but yeah, I'm gonna keep editing on that today. So also, I feel like our house is never this clean, but since we had him, we were like psycho about cleaning every night because you just need something to feel like controlled and organized. But people have been bringing us so many flowers and something about spring, the light hits different in the spring. I don't know what it is, it just does. I'm such a spring girl. I like that my pollen allergies, a little bit of a headache from pollen, but it's fine. We have flowers everywhere and the light is coming in and all my plants look good. I just moved some off the shelf to get some more sunlight. I have the door open. I can hear seagulls outside because we live right near the beach. So it just reminds me of the sounds of when I was a little girl, like staying at condos on vacation at the beach. So, really grateful for my house today and springtime because I did not like being pregnant in the winter. So, I'm very thankful that it is spring and warmer now. again and we went on a little quick sunny walk like 10 steps down the street and back while I fed him like underneath my shirt our street is so chill and we have like the most family friendly people around so I love that I feel comfortable like breastfeeding outside obviously as long as everything is covered he's not in the sun whatever um so we fed real quick he's napping on the couch and I'm about to hop on a call with my manager and kind of talk about getting back into things I mean I've only taken like a week off of work but just like touching base on all the brand deals and stuff we have coming up and like game plan whatever brand reach outs that kind of thing so i'm excited to chat with her and then my lactation consultant friend who's my lactation consultant is coming over around noon lunchtime to just watch his latch and make sure everything is going good answer any questions i have of like why does he have hiccups every time he feeds what are some hacks for like better making sure he gets like the fattiest milk at the end like how long do i need whatever you know just asking her the questions checking in making sure he's latching good um and then i'll just be working from home the rest of the afternoon i want to go on a longer walk with him because my stitches are feeling better every day so i'm like i want to try to keep moving more i did not move a lot yesterday because he just wouldn't he just wasn't wanting to like nap so i just like stayed at home most of the day because if i take him in the stroller he's usually napping um but yeah that's kind of the agenda for the day is lots of random work catch up things hopefully a sunny walk and then um yeah just stuff around the house with little our little boy Okay guys, it's a good bit later. We're wearing Arlo right now. I have not baby worn yet because I think I've been scared like it's gonna make my back be in like a weird position and hurt my pelvic floor more than it already does. But I'm also like, he in the afternoon lately has been, honestly all the time except for like nine to one, 9 a.m. to one. He's just very clingy and wants to be held at all times or feeding at all times. Um, and so in case he's not home, it's hard because basically he just has to be on me the whole time. And I'm trying to like get stuff done and also stay moving around so I start feeling better, like my pelvic floor and everything. So anyways, we went on a walk and I was, got some work done on our walk. It was like a 20 minute walk, like very slow. That was my first real walk of postpartum though. So very thankful to be able to walk because I know a lot of people cannot this early. And then my friend Sam came by, my lactation consultant, and she went over like everything, looked at my latch and, or looked at his latch and just everything, um, looked at like all of his like if he had any lip ties and different things and just assessed everything and gave me like peace of mind about like certain things during the night, like when to wake him up, when to not and feed him or everything with her. And she brought over some curry, which is so sweet. She put this in meal. And so I'm heating up this 
yummy curry she made us because that sounded amazing for lunch and she brought by some lactation balls too so i'm snacking on these while i heat up that curry and they're so good that's one thing that for sure has been so fun postpartum so far is like thoroughly enjoying food again i like liked food loved food in pregnancy but i was not that hungry all the time and if i was it was like i got full super quick and I was nauseous most days, like all the way through. Um, towards the end, I had some better days, but then there were still really nauseous days. So food was definitely not like a focus other than like get good nutrients for him in pregnancy versus now. Like I'm enjoying food so much again, like so much <laughs> because I'm so hungry for breastfeeding and like I'm not nauseous anymore for the first time in literally 40 weeks. So that's amazing. Um, but he's sleeping so good in here. I love this carrier. It's from Chico Baby, it's like a corduroy material. It's a little bit big. I like tied the straps in the back to keep it together better. But I think if I had Casey here to help me adjust it, it would fit like pretty perfectly. So I'm so excited to go like on walks with my mom friends in this. So, like, oh my gosh. I'm just, I've always dreamed of baby carrying. Like, I just think it's so cute and just like snuggly. And so it's just like a dream come true that I am wearing my little boy right now. This vlog is just gonna be me like so happy the whole time. <laughs> Sorry guys. I mean, that's good that I'm happy, but just lots of happy blabbering because I'm on cloud nine, newborn, newborn bliss. But we're just gonna keep working and eat some lunchy. Gosh, the color of this carrier is so, cute. look at him. It's so seepy and cute. I just, I just love it. I just love being a mom. I just love it. I was gonna say monkey and they changed the munchkin. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open. Air. Oh, baby Arlo. Baby, baby Arlo. So With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Casey's in the shower. I'm feeding little mans. We did not sleep the bus last night because of. 
this culprit, but that's okay. He's the cutest, so it's fine. I don't feel that exhausted because we actually had a couple good nights of sleep before this, so that's amazing. He, look at this little pee spot. He pees through every diaper. I don't know if it's because he's small or what. We use the cautery diapers, like they're organic non-toxic diapers, and we love them. Um, but he just like pees through them. I think it's just because he's tiny and his body just doesn't fit the diapers no matter how tight we do them. I also like get scared to do them too tight and like mess up his digestive system, you know? Anxious mom. But anyways, he's literally peed through like three outfits since 6 a.m. and it's 7.45. I'm like, first of all, I feel like I have not fed you enough for you to pee this many times. But he's like, mommy, he got a small bladder apparently, so pees a lot. Anyways, um, the sun is coming up and I'm like kind of watching it. I mean, it looks like it's all the way up from the window lighting, but it's not. It's like sunrise coming up. I can see the golden light starting to just like come up over the beach. I don't have a beach view, but I can see where it's like shining through the houses near the beach. Um, anyways, very lovely little morning other than the fact that we didn't sleep much last night. We had a good two to three hour sleep stint the last part of the night, which I love that he always sleeps good the beginning of the night. We get like a good three hours and then the end of the night. So like right and up until like 7 a.m. he usually sleeps good. It's kind of like 12 to 4 a.m. that it's like, ooh what's gonna happen during this time and you just never really know anyways I'm drinking my coffee about to read my bible and just keep feeding little man because i think he's like cluster feeding again yesterday he was just very off um and just wanted to feed all day so that's what we're doing um i love feeding him and i'm so thankful that breastfeeding is going well so i'm never going to complain about him wanting to latch all day because i know it's like such a gift that i'm able to breastfeed um and it was like a dream of mine so i'm so grateful because i know not everyone that like works out for him um, but anyways, I'm just going to keep feeding my little pea boy with his pea spot, um, and we are going to try to beach it with him today, I think. It's Friday, it's supposed to be like 80 degrees, um, but like windy, so it won't be too hot if we have like a little tent up for him on the beach, so I'm so excited. Oh, I'm choking on some milk, hang on. Okay, Christ, he's averted, he's fine. Um, okay, he's fine. Um, I feel like since my milk's coming in so good, he kind of like chokes on it sometimes, because he's like... <laughs> you know, drink a little too quick. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah, we're gonna try to beach with him today, and I'm so excited. It just doesn't feel real that we're maybe gonna have a beach day with my baby today. Like, I feel like ever since we moved here, uh, we have family with babies, and it was just like so fun to like be able to obviously to adjust your beach day. You have to figure out nap times and feedings and just all the things. And try not to get them all sandy, whatever, but at the end of the day, it's just so much more fun with kids. And I'm so excited to, like, have a beach day with him. I keep bringing you guys along for this weekend because I think it's going to be a fun weekend because the weather is going to be so nice. Um, but, yeah, just loving feeding my little mans right now. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life away? It's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes In a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night When the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you... Here's my little outfit of the day. I have my nursing bra on. This is literally just Amazon. I'll have them linked on my storefront. They're great nursing bras. And then this little Princess Polly like linen set. Super comfy. The postpartum belly is... She's coming back down, but she still looks strange, especially because I got so tan in pregnancy that it's like so dark right here. It just looks funny, um, but I just showered. I feel so refreshed. I'm talking quiet because we got a little contact nap going and I was able to slip away from Mr. Mann's and he actually stayed asleep, which is amazing. Um, normally he sleeps great, but the past like day and a half, he just hasn't been. So 
happy that he's resting i got the house like tidied up i always do a quick morning tidy up and a quick night tidy up in case he helps me too but he's at the gym right now um so i just did it myself this morning um but it just helps the day so much like the room is just i need to vacuum but he's asleep so i'm not going to like it's just tidy now his room is clean i cleaned like the changing table because there was poop on it and i like did the dishes and the laundry downstairs we try to keep laundry going so he has clean clothes because he doesn't have that many pieces that fit him right now because i know he's gonna grow so quick and he's so small that like nothing fits so only like our smallest newborn stuff like fits him remotely close um so i have to wash clothes like 24 7 because he only has like five things that he wears i'm gonna make some breakfast and then after that i'm gonna try to put him in um the stroller and go for a quick little walk so we can get some morning sunlight and then i'll come back and while i start work for the morning on my laptop i've already like uploaded a youtube video and done a couple emails and stuff while he was feeding the first time at like 7 a.m um but i'll feed him again once we get back from our walk and oh sorry i'm out of breath for some reason from talking i'm not pregnant anymore so i don't have that excuse but i am postpartum um but yeah i just want to get some morning sunlight in my eyes and go on a little walk with him get things moving and grooving before i sit down again to feed him for like an hour so let's go make some breakfast you're doing so good and mommy's having such a good morning because you're doing so good mister now we only get one life i want to make it count honey come on now and take my hand I want to be good about my videos is sharing little tips and tricks I've heard help your supply. Um, but this is my favorite fresh press juice from Whole Foods. I think once I've calmed down, calms down a bit, I'm going to be fresh pressing my own again because I have a juicer. And then this is just a bunch of carrot turmeric juice from Trader Joe's, which this juice has carrot juice in it, but I'm adding extra because... Oh wow, I just made such a big mess. <laughs> but I hate this juice. It tastes disgusting to me. But I love the juice from Whole Foods and it has so many good nutrients in it too. Currently, like having a glass of carrot juice, like eight to 12 ounces midday is like really good for milk supply. I do not know why carrot juice, but apparently it's one of those things <laughs> that just randomly boosts your supply. So I kind of just sip on this all day. And like I said, it has carrot juice, but I add extra every time you buy another one of these. They're like expensive. This is like a $10 thing, I think. Um, that's why I need to get back to pressing my own. But I know how important like the nutrients from fresh veggies and fresh pressed juices and different things are for breastfeeding. And so in addition to like my supplements and everything, I've just been doing this throughout the day. One, because I love it. It makes me feel good. And two, because it's supposed to help with the supply. Two scrambled pastries, eggs with butter and salt, and some salsa, and then a cream cheese on a blueberry bagel. Yummy. Okay, you guys, look who's in their swimsuit for the first time. A little mooshy boy. It does not fit him at all. It is so big on him, but he looks so freaking cute. He just woke up from the longest nap ever. Um, and we're gonna try to get him in the stroller without crying too much and get him to the beach because he's still a little sleepy, and then I'm gonna feed him underneath the tent on the beach, and hopefully he'll go back to sleep. Or he'll just wanna take it all into the beach, but we're gonna keep him in the shade, and if it seems too hot under the tent, our bedroom fan upstairs, um, it like detaches from the wall and has charge, so we can bring it to the beach for him. Um, it's the Shark Flex Breeze fan. He has seemed so like warm today, and it's really hot outside, so I'm like, is it me sweating or him, you know? But I just am obsessed with you want to show him your swimsuit? You want to show him? Oh, you look so cute, Mr. You have the hiccups right now, too. And then I have some little sunglasses for him. I'm excited to take like, a little picture of him at the beach. I hope it's not too hot for him, though. We'll see. We'll see how you do, okay? Let's go to the beach. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh.
Okay, you guys, it's so much later. So we had a great beach day with Arlo. He took so many naps on the beach. He was a king on the beach. And our family met us there, some friends met us there, and now we're headed to dinner. We're gonna go get Mexican and margaritas with some of our friends, Kate and Zach, in downtown Atlantic Beach, and we're so excited. This will be my first drink postpartum, so I'm excited to have a little margarita, you know? Go crazy, go stupid. Just kidding, one margarita, nothing crazy. But Arlo is being a king and the car seat as usual. I feel like he's been very sleepy today because he didn't sleep good last night. Um, but yeah, he's the new cutie boy. We're kind of matching. I'm wearing green and he's wearing green, so mommy and me. But let's go to dinner and get some tacos. It is now Sunday morning, so I did not pick up the camera yesterday because, um, honestly, Arlo was just cluster feeding like all day, so we just chilled all day. And then today is like our Sabbath, so I don't work on Sundays. Um, so we're gonna put the camera up and just have a good quality fam day. But Casey started off the day making us some almond, oh, there's some almond flour pancakes um, with blueberries, and we just made coffee. And Arlo just fed, and we're having just a chill little morning. We're gonna watch some soccer. We were thinking about going to church, but my stitches are still just pretty bad to sit for a while. So we're going to give it one more week before we go back to church. Um, but I didn't pick up the camera yesterday also because my allergies are so insane. I felt like sick and I feel the same way today. So we're just going to have a chill fam day and just make this outro to this video. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our first little week in our life with Arlo J. It was so fun to document. I know I'm going to look back at these vlogs. I've had like so little and just love the fact that I vlogged because he's not gonna be little for that long which is really sad but it's okay um anyway so we'll see you guys next week with another video peace say bye bye little scrunchy monkey oh you're so cute <laughs>